in the bay of people to save me. I'm gonna be outside all day. I want you all to spray me. I'm gonna close my eyes and spin. Ready? Okay. That's right. All over here. Get my bald spot. There you go. Oh, this is good. First, we're gonna set up like a Netherlandish still life. A tabletop with a nice linen. Patrick Foss picked it out. Yes. And then we're gonna um, cut off little pieces of every little um, organism. You know, some some meat, vegetable. We've got all five phylums: fungus, bacteria. I bought some yogurt. It's got bacillus and like um, protists. I think we got some swamp water in the ice cooler with protists in it. So we're gonna mix them all together in the blender. Other things you can do with it is just inject it into living things and see what happens. I, I guess we'll just figure out if people want to do it. It's up to them. This blender came with something called a power stick. It's like a jammer, kind of sex blender jammer. Thing. Hey, Laura. I'm going to still even make it. Yeah. Roy Bieten. Where are you going Nou ja, ik dacht dat is het enige wat niet leeft en niet wegdraait. Anyway, het werkt. Dat is wel goed. Leef je nou? Ja, hij is alive. Ik ga hem wat water geven. Voor hem. Ik denk. Minuut, minuut. Ja, maar dan springen ze er ook heel snel uit, hè? Ja, tuurlijk leven. Zweedse gehaktballen. Om ze op dat bord uit te stallen, zodat er extra bacteriën op gaan groeien. Oh ja. Ja, die valt. Ja, Very good. Everyone's bringing me things that are alive. Yeah, I grew up this with the ice bag. You been talking to this? No, a long time. Is that alive? That thing? Is that alive? I'm Simon Ter. What I'm doing, I'm uh, making the collage, the still life. So what do you have? What do you have? Um, some fruits, just for the visual aspect, the aesthetics. That is okay. Yeah? Okay. So you have to ask the master, master first. Yeah. <laughs> Dan de paling. Maar blijft ze er heel lang dus dan? Ik vind het wel echt meezien. Nee, maar juist om het minder zielig te maken is het meest goed. Want dan worden ze heel snel. Je hebt geen jouw lak dus aan Nee, nee. Ook los. I think they go off the table usually in the, in the paintings, yeah? Okay. We're gonna start our lab. I probably need one of these jackets, damn it. We're gonna figure out how to isolate DNA from all this stuff, just from like household materials. First of all, we're doing um, something called hybrid DNA isolation. We need things that have DNA in them, and we need samples of them, and we need to put them in the blender. Put it in here, and then I'm going to write apple. <laughs> Want die staat 
What about sunscreen? Has sunscreen got DNA in it? I mean, yeah, I just... Wash your fingers. The blonde. You're gonna get some hair? Dig it from the roots, make sure you get the roots, like pull it out because the flesh is on the end, you know? You can also like uh, go like this, like... Yeah? That gets DNA flakes in there. We're working good together, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I got one out. Well, we'll get that one. Oh. <laughs> Life. So even though it may still wiggle a bit, it is dead. This is a laboratory. We mix salt and soap and contact lens solution. And we're going to make DNA, yeah. Look at this, that's eight cubic centimeters. You can put in a little more, it doesn't and, hurt. Uh, where can the see? Yeah. So you don't have to measure too much. You know what I mean? Put a bunch of salt in. Oh, you do it. Oh, well, let them say stop. Just tell them when to stop. Keep going, don't listen to her. Okay. okay, and then the next thing in there it says is um, twice as much water as there is samples. Okay. So here you go. This is a super powered power stick. Now this is what I want us to do, and maybe we can get, can I get you guys to do it? We have to stand up here, so stand with the crowd. But we also, um, we want everyone out here, can you guys help us? Okay. Let's get on and let's see what happens. I'll try this. Oh yes! We've got it! Stand by. I'm gonna electrocute myself. Okay. Yell it! Seven! Meatball! Bread beads! Tuna! Mom! Papaya! Cherry! Rhubarb! Yogurt! Arrowroot! Tomato! Pheasant head! Eggs! Lobster! Red berry! Apricot! Floracare! Ah! Oh! 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 Ugh. Yuck! That's not a word. That's a word that fills in for the fact that there's no name for what you're feeling. Right? It's like, uh, Right? Or shit. This is shit. It just means like, I don't know what it is and we made up a word, it's a dirty word. Has this ever existed before on Earth? This specific milkshake? Okay, so we got something new here, right? We're scientists now. We're gonna actually isolate the DNA from something new that's never existed on Earth before. A primeval soup of unnameability. And if we isolate the DNA from it, we can name it. Okay, so. Next, everyone's scared now. It's gonna get frozen. Are you ready? Here's the option. We want to get uh, this juice into these containers. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> We've already established that this. This is something new on Earth, this mixture, right? No one has made something like this before. This is a new media, okay? And so it is possible if you wanted to be an, a very contemporary new media artist that you could sculpt with this and make a sculpture, a new media sculpture. And not only this, I do believe that if we, if we sold it right, this would be a new media monoprint, okay? This is a piece of contemporary art. This is how it's made now. It's not so bad. It's actually kind of clay-like. It's moldable. Yeah, there's an eye here. It's nice. Uh, okay, but let's make some DNA out of this stuff. That's the juice, so here. About one-sixth of this liquid needs... Uh, you have to add an extra one-sixth of soap. So I'm going to give you guys some soap. 
there are all these cells in here, but we want them to explode. So you're on the explosion team. You're on the explosion team. What it says is you add, no matter how much liquid you see, add about one sixth more. Someone from the audience, you want to do it, right? I saw you getting involved. You, you ate the. You guys, too, a little extra is better than not enough. Okay, stop. <laughs> I like doing that. It's so mean, right? Oh, boil and bubble. They used to hang people here at the VOG for stuff like this, right? <laughs> Now that the cells have exploded, and probably the nucleuses have exploded too, the DNA is actually, it's in this, it's in solution. But it's all wound up around all kinds of stuff, and we have to digest the DNA, which means like, it comes more out into solution. When we start digesting it, it's delicate. Okay, so none of this stirring around, we're gonna have to be like, lightly treating it, otherwise it'll break into tiny little pieces, and it won't precipitate properly. So. Anybody who wants a tube, get the tube. In fact, Susa, you're in charge of passing them to everyone, including the crowd. If you suck it all the way up into here, you can never use it again. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Like, we're in the street. We can use them again if we want to. To get it out, you squeeze this button here. So this is just to get air. And this is up, and this is out. Right? And if you want extra out, you can do this. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? <clears throat> like that. But only fill it up. <laughs> okay. Wait. Let go of that one. Yeah. You got it. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's excellent. I think you learn faster than most adults. <laughs> Good sign. So. You get to write down on your tube your own name for it. All right? Go for it. There you go. Thanks, guys. See, look at it. It took you 10 seconds. These guys have taken some... Right? There are a few things that digest DNA. Um, they're the same thing that make meat softer. Okay? Papaya enzyme, we take for digestion. Like, I'm having a problem with my digestion. If you smash these up, you can add them as digestant to your test tubes, okay? But what really works is contact lens solution, okay? Contact lens solution is made to digest proteins that are stuck on your contact lenses, and that's how they clean them for your eyes, because you get all this glunk stuck on them, right? This deglunkifies them. You're gonna add some of this to your test tube. All right? Like we've been doing. Ugh. And then, how does it say? It says to add a pinch. But we don't have a pinch. We have this bottle, so. Add some. That's the DNA kitchen way. You add some, right? Leave room because we're going to put cold alcohol on the top, and then the DNA is supposed to go up into this, right? No, I don't the top. All right, who needs a. <laughs> and also, don't zoom in, zoom all the way. So I'm going to make a big one. Hij zegt eerst dat hij hier eerste vrouw van Adam. Adam? Ja, Adam, dan weet je wel de eerste mensen. We're going to make a lot of DNA. Okay, so what do you think? Is the DNA ready to come out? We'll try it. We'll give it a whirl. Um, if we pour some of this ethanol on the top of your test tube, the DNA will go up into it. Like precipitate up into it. Why? Because the ethanol is floating on water and it is cold. I don't know why. You tilt your tube and you just run the alcohol. Does this like like something people do in bars? Make a black and tan, right? You make the alcohol go... Okay. You want it to float. 
This is the science part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the difference between ethanol, famous grouse, and <laughs> some kind of crazy <laughs> rum? It's like 80%. This is uh, 80%. 90% and 100%. You see these little white things coming to the top with bubbles? Yeah. That's the DNA. Okay, so come and try it. What you, sh what you should see is something that looks a lot like sperm. Coming to the top between the alcohol and the juice should be like something spermy, like white, gooey, yucky, kind of icky stuff. As you're doing that, I also want you to tell me, after you added the alcohol, what name you wrote? These are, I want to know the names. Names of. Yeah. Yeah, it's called shit acid soup. Yeah. You wrote it down already. So that's already. the DNA of the shit acid. Yeah. It looks pretty good, right? Yeah. I think we did okay. You know what I'll do for the crew? This. Is it going to work? So it's such a big batch? Why wouldn't it work? It's a big batch of the same small batch. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Looks like sperm coming up, right? Look at all that DNA. <laughs> Patrick is drinking all the rum. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. That's what it's there for, actually. Uh -huh. You can use this too. First, we're going to isolate the DNA. We got new tubes. We're going to try a new tool. It's just like the other one. You suck up and it'll suck something up and then you squirt it somewhere else. That's all this does. So you press down and then suck up and then you press down and you press all the way through and it spits out. So. All the way through like shoot. Yeah, spit out. Good. <laughs> and then you can take that tube home with your name on it. You can write it again. Well, that's nice. You got some good ones. Um, okay, how many genomes are in this DNA? Do I have to refer back? What would a scientist do with this DNA? Maybe. They might throw it away. This is a pain in the ass to figure anything out from. It's horrible, actually, right? Look at this. This is a lot of DNA from a lot of different genomes. It does kind of look like sperm, right? So what else can we do with this? Can we inject it into a plant? What do you think happens if you inject this into a plant? It might die, right? What if it lives? Will it be a mixture of all these and the plant? Something new? Could it be dangerous? Could be dangerous. What about injecting it into yourself? Same. Is it dangerous? Yes, I think so. Probably is. It doesn't look dangerous. You know, but I mean, I don't know, would you take a bunch of that and inject it into you? Right? The problem is if this DNA gets into the center of the nucleus, not just in your bloodstream, but into the center of a blood cell. And how does that happen? With a needle. Let me see. Good. What's that? That's the smallest needle. So small. It's actually not a needle yet, I can tell. Because I can't blow air through it, right? But if you break it... Here. That's a tiny needle. So what are we going to do? 
we're going to take some of this DNA, we're going to put it in this needle, and don't do this at home. No mouth pipetting, but we're going to blow it down there. It tastes like lobster. <laughs> you got to find the nucleus of my cell. Okay. Okay, not too hard. Find one near the surface. Okay, and then... And then blow? Yeah, well, let's get some more of this juice here. <laughs> Now, did you see? Okay. Blow. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Ah! Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I think. I think so. So. <laughs> oh. What? I know. Oh yeah, definitely. We won't go into the testicles until you guys are gone. <laughs> so what would be the difference if she blew this into my testicles? Then my sperm would be different, and that would mean that I wouldn't just be different, but so would my kids, right? I think this is going on. Yeah, I see something is happening. Yeah, you feel it? <laughs> ah, I'm changing. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway. Well, what else can we do with this DNA besides blowing it into me? Anybody else want it blown into them? Anybody want an injection into their testicles? What about a tree? Yeah. We should do a tree. Should we do a tree? All right. We have to mark it as genetically modified. Oh, well, here, let's, mm -hmm. let's start this. What's that? Yeah. Tell, tell me why. No, I'm interested. I know, because uh, you're not going to change anything. Uh, do it to yourself. Yeah, do it to yourself, but not to something growing in the environment. Truly. Why not? Something why not? Because uh, why you should leave it. No, it's part of life. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. I actually, this is part of what this lab is about. Yeah, this is incredible. Trying to figure out, because it seems simple, but actually what she's saying is if I blow this into a tree and it takes part of the tree, and we don't know what the effect of all these going into a tree are. And we're just um, practicing maybe, you know, to make the tree supposedly make more money, right? But we don't know the long-term effect of what we do. I'm with you. Just in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, I do it in a funny way, but this is the point. Wow! Yeah. Finally, someone said stop! <laughs> it takes so long sometimes. <laughs> I'm already deformed. <laughs> Nobody stopped me. Uh. Well, okay. Believe it or not. If you have a free will, the tree doesn't. It, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I asked for it. <laughs> yeah, I got it. it. So, okay. That's our lab. I think we did it. Look at all that DNA. You see that? That's a really a lot. Mm -hmm. And everybody got a little. Um, I think all we have to do now is go home and think about what happened. Yeah. But uh, most important to me is that we name the unnameable. The weird thing about that, about making up a name for something that didn't exist before, that's what scientists do all the time. And you see, it's not that hard to make something new and name it. I don't know about copywriting it, you need a lawyer, <laughs> you know, but uh, it's actually, mystery is everywhere, right? This is mysterious stuff. <laughs> Not that hard. And they don't hang people for this anymore, they give them degrees. Anyway, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.